Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Channel Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can install Manjaro OS on a new laptop or on a new PC or on a PC or a laptop that you want to erase the operating system on. So this is not a dual boot video. I will also show you how to activate the repositories so to install applications on Manjaro OS. So the steps to do this are four steps only. The first one is to get the ISO file from Manjaro's website. The second step is to put the ISO file on USB flash drive. Third step is to boot the laptop or PC from the USB flash drive. And the fourth and final step is how to configure the application repositories so that to install applications on Manjaro. So I'm going to take you through all these steps one by one. So let's start first by downloading the Manjaro ISO file from Manjaro's website. So let's open the web browser to get the ISO file and go to manjaro.org and in manjaro.org here click on try Manjaro and here you have three versions you have the XFCE desktop version you have the KDE Plasma and you have the GNOME version I'm gonna download the KDE Plasma because it's a richer one desktop wise so click on KDE Plasma and then here click on download and then click on great take me to download and the download starts so previously I downloaded the ISO file because it's a very big file it's 3.2 gigabytes so I'm gonna cancel this one and then I'm gonna use the ISO file that I downloaded earlier at the time of this video, the version of Manjaro is 21.1.6, but the instructions will apply also to other versions of Manjaro. So now that the ISO file is downloaded, we need to get a utility called Rufus. So open a new tab and then go to rufus.ie and then scroll to the middle of the page here and select the latest version of Rufus. At the time of this video, it is 3.17. It might be different for you. So click on Rufus 3.17 and the download of Rufus begins. It's a very fast download. It's a very small file. So now we have Rufus and we have the ISO file of Manjaro. So let's close the browser. We don't need it anymore. So now we need to insert the USB drive in our PC. Get a USB drive that is 8 gigabytes or more and preferably a USB drive that is 3.0 or faster so that the operation will be faster. So I'm using here a Samsung Bar Plus USB drive which is very fast. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you care to check it out. So insert the USB drive and then let's go to the downloads folder or to the folder where you downloaded Rufus and Manjaro and double click on Rufus, click yes if prompted so that to allow it to start and here you need to select the USB drive that you just inserted so in case you have many USB drives make sure you're selecting the right one because everything on this USB drive will be deleted so please make sure that you don't need the data that are on this USB drive so here I selected my USB drive and then click on select to select the ISO file of Manjaro so select the ISO file of Manjaro here and then click on open this is here a message telling you from Rufus that the operation will be performed in DD image writing mode. So simply click on OK and leave everything else by default and then click on Start. Here it will prompt you once again that warning all the information that are on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you're sure you're using the correct USB drive, here I am sure that I don't need the data on this USB drive. So I'm going to click on OK and the operation will start. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when this operation is almost finished. So now the flashing of the USB drive is almost finished as you see. And when it is finished, it will give you a message saying here that it is ready. So we finished the second step of our Manjaro preparation. Now we need to go to the third step, which is starting the laptop or PC from the USB drive and then installing Manjaro on the internal hard drive of the laptop or PC as a sole operating system. So I'm going to switch to external camera and show you how to install Manjaro on the laptop. So click on close here and let's take the USB drive and head to our external camera and continue. So let's insert the USB drive 
in our laptop insert it in a usb 3.0 port preferably in your laptop and start the laptop when the laptop starts press the hot boot key that will take you to the boot menu this is a dell laptop so i'm gonna press on the f12 key i'm going to put a list of hot boot keys in the description for popular laptop models so here choose uefi and the usb drive so here it is the samsung usb drive for me and press enter and this is the manjaro startup screen so by default it goes on boot with open source drivers so press enter on this and manjaro will start now from the usb key so this is manjaro starting from the usb key give it a second and you have a welcome screen when you start manjaro and in this welcome screen here you see something called installation and under installation you have launch installer so click on launch installer to install manjaro on your hard drive and here simply choose your language it is okay for me american english so i'm gonna leave it as it is click on next and here choose your time zone it is right for me so i'm gonna simply click on next and choose your keyboard layout it selected the correct one for me english us default of course choose your own keyboard layout click on next and here it will ask you about the partition scheme that it will do now because this is an installation on a new laptop or on a laptop that you want to erase everything on it i'm gonna choose erase disk and i'm gonna choose here to create a swap file so that the system will be faster so i'm gonna select swap no hibernate and then simply i'm gonna click on next now before i click on next please note that this operation will delete everything on the internal hard drive of your laptop or of your pc also if you have more than one drive in your laptop or pc make sure to select the correct one under select storage device on top of this dialog box so here i have only one hard drive and it got selected by default so now click on next and here it will ask you to put a username for your installation so i'm gonna put ks tech for knowledge sharing tech simply and for the username it put automatically kst i'm gonna leave it as it is and for the pc also it proposed a name for me i'm gonna leave it as it is and here you have two options either you want to log in automatically or you want to use the same password for the administrator account so let's first put a password so this is a password for your login confirm the password and then here i'm gonna say that i want to use the same password for the administrator account also and i don't want it to log in automatically so click on next and then click on install and it will tell you here that the manjaro installer is about to make changes to your disk and you will not be able to undo these changes so this is the last chance to change your mind in case you don't want to erase your internal hard drive here i am sure that i want to install manjaro and i am sure that i want to erase my internal hard drive in this laptop so i'm gonna click on install now and the installation starts i'm gonna cut this video and come back when the installation is almost finished so when the installation is finished you'll get this message simply select restart now and click on done and the laptop or pc will restart if after you restart you receive this error message which is saying no bootable devices it's very easy to fix so here restart your computer once again and press f12 and this is once only you need to do this so i'm gonna press f12 and simply make sure you select manjaro this is the first option and hit enter so now it will start so here login with the password you created and the first thing to do is to connect the pc to your wireless network so here as you notice that the install changed it is removed so i'm gonna just remove the screen here like this and i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna connect to my internet here so click 
on your Wi-Fi network here to select your Wi-Fi network. So here select your Wi-Fi network and click on connect. Put the password for your Wi-Fi network. And here it is connected. And here I'm gonna still show you how to enable the repositories to install applications. And I'm gonna show you how to install an application. So this is a Manjaro here screen. Click on the menu here and then click on all applications. And in all applications, select add remove software. So this is here the add remove software screen. And as you notice, we don't have any software. This is because the repositories are not enabled. So you need to enable the repositories. So click on the menu here and then click on preferences. Put your password. And here enable all the repositories. So first click on download automatic updates so that you can update automatically Manjaro. And then click on third party and enable all these repositories. So you have three repositories. AUR, enable everything on the net also. And then you have Flatpak, enable it. And also enable check for updates. And you have Snap, also enable it. So let's close this here now. And you notice here now we see software in our software packages. So let me show you here how to install a software very quickly. Click on the search icon here and simply let's say I want to install Spotify. So you can search for Spotify. Here it happened that Spotify is in the first screen here. But if you want to search for it, just put it here and hit enter. And then you see Spotify here. So simply click on the down arrow and then click on apply. And click apply again. And you see here, it's telling you installing Spotify. So I'm gonna give it a minute to install and I'm gonna show you how it launches. So now Spotify got installed and you can find it in the applications menu here. So if you go all applications and let me put Spotify. So here it is, let me pin it to the desktop. So right click on it and click add to desktop. And here's Spotify. And here's Spotify running. So that was it for the installation of Manjaro on a new PC. I hope you liked this video and found it interesting. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel big time. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.